Hey, I'll wait for some folks to get up in here. I'm live now. Just want to make sure everything's cool. <clears throat> James Black Hard here. What's up? We're telling your followers you're like, yes. Yeah, so, oh, I see. Okay, someone's joined. Oh, three people have joined. How cool is that? Oh, 22 people have joined. Jesus, that was fast. 36 people. Wow, I can't count that fast. Hi. Hello, Mackenzie. How are you doing? Hello, Jay. Hi. Howdy. What's up, guys? James Moore, I go out here. I'll get, let some other people uh, join. Um, I'm so excited that I get to do this. I got some Christmas music playing because, you know, I'm in the mood. You know, it's Christmas time. Thanksgiving's over. What's up? What's up, Wix? How you doing, man? What's going on? How you doing, brother? <laughs> I love talking. Hey, guys. Listen, I am so... I want to thank you all for your patience, for your absolute patience because I know it's been a long time since I've done one of these. I think I was in Freestyle of Supreme when I did it. Oh, you saw Spamalot. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Celestine's friend here. Good to see you. Hi, everybody. It's been a long time since I did one of these, so the fact that I get to do what I'm so excited that I get to, you know, do one of these things. So I'm chilling here. We just had our matinee of Spamalot, um, as you can see. Hello from Germany. That's part of my costume over there. That's my regular clothes. And um, then I just put on my Ozzy hat so I could be in the mood. And surely not everybody was Kung Fu fighting. But... I got my Christmas music on. I will start signing. You want to see the show? Please come check out the show. We're having a really, really good time. What show are you doing in March? Uh, I th hopefully, still spam a lot. Uh, oh, yeah, you got to come down. You saw me in FLS in Philly. Thank you for coming to check out that show. Okay, uh, we should probably get started with the signing of certain things. I know that my boy Alex has signed a bunch of stuff. Uh, speaking of Alex, the funny thing is, if you come see the show uh, January 9th, you will see... Um, Alex Brightman. Alex Brightman is joining Spamalot uh, with, so it'll be, it'll be, yes, it'll actually be Osmonius and Fizz O'Reilly in the same musical at the same time. So it should be really, really fun. Let's see. I see, what's the name here? I'm going to read everything. Oh, they want me to sign this off camera, so I won't say what I'm going to say. So I'll go to the next one. I'll sign this off camera so you know. Signed off camera, signed off camera. Okay. I'm checking out, checking out, 60. This was purchased uh, September 23rd. Let's see what they want me to say. If it's comfortable, I love you and have a wonderful day. Thank you. If we both can sign, yes, we will. So I'm gonna just start signing these right here. Let's see which one. Hi guys, hi everybody. What's going on, what's going on? Hello Joel, thank you for mentioning me. I love this one right here. This is really, really cool. This is like, it's, it's me singing with it on the other side. Alex has the other Pope picture, which is so dope. So let me see what's going on. Trying to get the names down. I'm so out of it when it comes to like Streamly. <laughs> this, this person uh, didn't write their name. Uh, they want me to write the, uh, the size of Ozzy. If you feel comfortable. I don't know if my wife will let me do that. Um, but the, I, I signed something nice and cute, but to, to actually say my name, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Sign that boy? Lord, okay, hold on. Let me see if you're gonna win. Make it out to, uh, so it's, it's not to anybody. They just want, they don't want the name on, they just want it. So I will sign my name. Yes. So I'll just say, you know what I'll say? I'll say, uh, it's, if you've seen, if you've seen the show, uh, Ozzy's definitely big enough. Trust me. <laughs> cool. I said, uh, big enough to satisfy, so I'm pretty sure that's enough, trust me. <laughs> Gotta write the number on the back so we know exactly who it goes to. Let's see. J A 12. Got it. And it is complete. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Next one. I think it's a similar one. This one says, plead as your favorite quotes from your character. You know what's funny? One of my favorite quotes from the character was give me a thrust. But now I love and you know in the new song where he, he just kind of looks at him and he goes, you know I love you, Fizz. I just love that. It's, I, someone said never too long. <laughs> no, Tyler, in my mind, how dare you? <laughs> 
So right here, I just want to say, uh, I'm going to say, you know I love you, Fizz, because he's right on the other side. So that's what I'm signing here, guys. Anybody doing anything special? I mean, how was your Thanksgiving? Was everybody having a good time? I chilled out because I don't know if you guys know this. I was on the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Someone said, Crooked, how dare you? <laughs> I was Thanksgiving Day Parade, so I was up hella early in the morning. So I went home, took a nap with my wonderful family. They cooked, and um, we chilled. James, I'm eating McDonald's right now. Boy, you, are, you know I love you. What's my favorite character? See, someone said, what's your favorite character you've ever played? Ooh, that's actually crazy to think about you yeah, so cartoon wise there's two and I'm probably gonna get killed for this well I probably can't say because the producers will kill me let's just say I love playing Osmodeus and as far as stage is concerned probably Genie and the King I'm having so much fun and also I got to do freestyle of Supreme so I got to play myself so it was nothing like getting on stage and actually playing yourself that's pretty cool let's see see Dave. There we go. So see, someone said, please have the kitchen. I, I love you, Fizz. That's what I was writing. There we go. That's that. I want to say thank you guys. Thank you guys for... Um, Thank you guys for always just like supporting us, you know, and supporting the show. You know, we love you guys. It's really, really fun. We love doing these, 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 this show, you know, so thank you all. So let's see. They went, ooh, this is one of the new ones. I like this one. This one here is Ozzy and Fizzy in, in bed. So Ozzy's sitting back looking at how cute Fizzle Raleigh is as he's working and I get to just lay in the pillow. I think it's so cool. It's called Rise and Shine. And uh, this is for Brandy. So Brandy, thank you. Let me make sure I spell your name right, Brandy. I want to make sure. You had known this house watching me in the parade. Thank you. You know, we're hoping we get get more episodes with Mamma on. I'm looking for that. That was that was crazy. I, you know, it's funny. We don't even know what's going to happen. Uh, our wonderful, amazing creator, Viv, you know, we know we find out what happens when it happens with you guys, do. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen with me and Viz and Mamma and all that kind of stuff. Got to make sure I write the right thing on here, you know. Let's see, you gotta check some of that. I think my Instagram's going a little slow here. Oh, thank you for saying I was good. Oh, hi, Giuseppe's mom. How are you guys doing? I'm gonna stop. I'm <laughs> Damn, okay, well, all right. Well, you were very, you, you, uh, hmm, I understand. I don't know if y'all saw it. She said she was gonna stuff Ozzy like a turkey. Well, hi, damn, all right then. I'm, you do, I saw you do the damn thing. You know, I try, girl, you know, I'm gonna do my thing. See, should make sure everything's on. Cool, cool. Okay, um, what was I gonna show you? Oh, you thank you for seeing for seeing Tangled. I look, that's one of my favorite ones, Tangled 2. I, I really that was actually my first major cartoon was doing that. Besides those movies, do you have any other fave Hell of a Boss characters? Actually, you know what? I really I'm not gonna lie. I, I there's there's something about watching um about Fizz just because Alex is so damn good at it, you know? I mean We've been we've known each other for years, but just watching him do his thing and like listening to him do his thing is like so so cool for me. He's like my other favorite character. You have a huge crush on Ozzy. Well, thank you. You said to get on your schedule in December at Broadway Con for my high school paper, but I can't get ah. You know what? Okay. Um, you can't get on Instagram. We'll figure this out. We'll figure we'll figure this out. You can fi find me on X. You can maybe uh, send me something there. Yes, I'm keeping up with WWE. I saw what happened. Yes, I saw the craziness that is that is crazy. Oh, you saw Wish. For us, we go back to WWE. Yes, I saw what happened. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that CM Punk just acts normal backstage and front of stage, and we should be fine. If that happens, great. If not, we've got other folks to do their thing, but I am always going to root for that brother. I really have. So, 
saying hello. Uh, you're gonna play the role in Nikki Walker's birthday. <laughs> Actually, we literally wished Nick uh, Nick Walker a happy birthday. So go over to Nikki Walks and tell him happy birthday on his Instagram, on his on his uh, on all his social media. He's a wonderful person, especially when I'm doing terrible things to him. Okay. This person here is uh, Maria. Hi, Maria. Thank you for uh, wanting one of these. To Maria. Yes, I'm gonna write happy birthday. How you doing, girl? Got to write a favorite quote too. Got to think of that. Do I do a voice of anyone and has been? Actually, I do, but I can't say. It's coming out. It's, uh, you know, all that hush-hush stuff. Somebody Simpson here. Wow. I just came to hate. <laughs> Team Heat Miser. Yes. I love you. You play two of my favorite characters in the show. Yes. I, you know, I love playing Vortex. I'm really hoping that Vortex gets some more this season. You know, just want to say I'm hoping that, you know. I'm, I'm digging that, dude, because he's kind of fun, just kind of chill. But also, I have a big thing for werewolves, lycanthropes, hellhounds, you know, all those kinds that can, like, switch places, you know, you imagine that switch places, like, turn into something. So, like, I love werewolves. I love lycanthropes. So that's my thing. So when she told me he was a hellhound that could become human and a hound, I got mad excited. Is there any news on Armstrong? Yes, actually. Uh, we are working very hard uh, to fix Armstrong to make it the best it can be. So when it finally, hopefully, fingers crossed, comes to Broadway, everyone will have a ball with it. Trust me, we're going to have a great time. We had a great time in Louisiana, and we've had a fabulous time in Chicago. So I'm looking forward to us just, like, doing more stuff with it. How do Ozzy and Queen Beelzebub get along? Mm -hmm. we, we have our moments. We have our moments. <laughs> We get along pretty well because we know we know the hierarchy of how it should go. Thank you for seeing Memphis. I saw somebody say Memphis. I love you. You're seeing the show tonight. That's cool. Can we get Ozzy saying a pickup line? What else do I need to say but I'm here? I mean, please. If I was in front of you, you know exactly what you do. Just think of that dirty imagination that you have. And I'm pretty sure once I smile at you, darling, everything you want to do will probably happen. <laughs> Oh, that's a hard one to say um, Crooked or uh, House of Osmodius. They both were so fun because House of Osmodius was the first one. So I really got to like rip and go. But Crooked is so deep. It's such a romantic, cute song that I, I can't pick one. I love them both. I love them both. Let's see. That was J20. Trying to do both at the same time, y'all. So thank you for your patience. Ooh, you're blushing. Well, you know, girl, I try, you know. <laughs> Hello, I see you guys. Let's see, this is for Robert, a.k.a. Dragon Crystal. Ozzy, it's worth it to wake up next to someone like you. You got it. I know exactly what to write. Robert, a.k.a. Dragon Crystal, I get it. I know what to say. You've already given it to me. I know you're not Genie anymore, but I'm going to be Genie on Broadway. Yes! Yes, I do have tips for you to be Genie on Broadway. I would say... This is gonna sound crazy, but learn to let go and just be silly. Just be as silly as possible because that's kind of what Genie is. He's He's got this really big heart of wanting to be free and have a real friend, but there is this entertainer part of him. There is this craziness that he loves to just like sing and, re and sing in public for no reason. That's like me. So you got to just go for it. Also, if you are gonna be Genie, I would say, if you don't already have dance skills, I say get the dance skills, get the singing skills, get the acting skills. You need all three. You need all three to play that part. And uh, let's talk more about it. Have I ever worked with Naomi Scott in Aladdin? You know, I don't think I have. I don't think I have. You ever heard of Empty Cover the House? No! I never, I didn't realize there was a cover of Osmodius. That's crazy. My birthday is Friday. Do you mind saying happy birthday in Ozzy's voice? Ours only friends. Well, I have to say, have a wonderful and amazing happy birthday. And I hope you get all the presents you want. And be able to do all the dirty things you want to do as well. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> Lindsay Community Theater. 
How are you guys doing? I want to say hello. I'm glad you guys are doing spam a lot right now. Enjoy yourselves. Find your grail and enjoy the coconuts. Aaron, oh, how you doing? How you do? I see you. I see you, Michael. I see Aaron Michael Ray joined. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. That's my man right there. How did Ozzy and Fit? Do I have any? Do I have a theory? You know, I am pretty sure. And this is just my theory. I don't know for sure. And I'm pretty sure Viv's going to like, you know, well, you know what? Let me not even speculate because Viv's probably got a great story because the stuff that she comes up with is so, so good. So um, I'm, I don't want to say anything because I have my ideas. But I'm not going to say anything. Osmodius King says, have I ever met Lin-Manuel Miranda? Yes. Yes, I have. He's pretty cool. Pretty cool dude. Yeah. Me and my sister Stephanie has a dream to be on Broadway one day. Got any tips? Yes. Are you singing and dancing now? Are you singing and dancing acting now? If you are, you're right in the right place. You're right in the right place. So, you know, it's really about um, getting your skills together. And um, I know this is going to sound crazy and forgive me, but like, do your best to be good in school. Because studying, we do a lot of studying. We do a lot of studying here on Broadway. Studying our scripts, studying our music, studying our dances. If your studying skills are good, you'll be good here because we do a lot of work as far as like reading and studying and you know figuring out how things are done. So if you haven't got that your note skills down, it's like writing notes and uh, you know as far as school, you need to get that up because you're going to need that in Broadway. Also, any tips for Broadway? I would say, listen, you got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in yourself. How's your cat, by the way? Oh, so which one? So I guess I can say it now. Um, Zoe, our 21-year-old, she passed away. She passed away. She passed away in September. I didn't post it. I was a little too sad about that. And uh, then we had um, she, but she was. We we loved that cat. She was our heart. We got her uh, literally a few weeks after we got married. That's so she was as she was as old as our marriage. She was 21 years. And then Hudson, who was 10, we just lost Hudson, um, but we knew he was sick. So now we only have three cats. We have uh, we have Lily who's uh, the orange and white cat if you see my Instagram. We have Mouse, who is the, um, she, she's the uh, turtle, turtle shell, uh, tortoise shell uh, cat. And then we also have Gracie. She's the one who looks angry all the time. So we have three cats now. So those are my cats and I love them. Uh, let's see, Emo, Emo Ho. <laughs> Happy birthday, Scott. Uh, please say, please, he's my friend and sips for Ozzy. Oh, man. look, Scott, thank you, thank you and happy birthday, my friend. Ooh, blushing. Okay, okay, okay. I did. Let's see. Oh, oh my God. I'm always, I'm so old when it comes to this. <laughs> Should have make sure I get everything. Oh my gosh. Stop. There we go. Jeez. And who is this for? This is, oh, great. Robert, Robert, Robert. Robert, I'm going to write yours in a second because I have to uh, write a lot of stuff. Actually, give me guys, give me a second so I can write this for, for Robert. Because obviously I have no skills to write and speak at the same time. <laughs> Thank you for saying I ain't old. That really makes that really makes me feel good. Thank you for your condolences about the cats. You know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are so patient. You guys are so sweet. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Your birthday is two days from Valentine's Day. I sell a liver to have it on the 14th. <laughs> okay, that got me. Sorry. Okay. We'll be posting live once it's over. Um, 
look like hosting the live once it's over. You know, I might be, I might be. I'm still trying to learn this. I, you know, this is gonna sound really crazy. I have two phones, I have my regular phone. This is on my business phone, don't ask. Uh, and so I hope I can, you know, actually keep this. And if someone else wanna keep it, you know, let me know. I, Aretha, hey, I see you, Aretha. How you doing, girl? Good to see you, good to see you. Yes, yo, this hat, you know, I got, I got, they, they, the company sent it to me, you know. Can I sing a little bit of House of House Money? Let's see. Uh, um, give me a thrust <laughs> in the house of Osmodians. What musical would Ozzy be in and who would he play? Ooh, he'd probably be in Moulin Rouge and he'd probably uh, play the, the ringleader of everything. Uh, I think he'd be dope. Also, I would. I think it'd be cool if Osmodius played uh, George Washington and Hamilton just came in all tall as hell and like crashing the building and, uh, you know, talking. Hi, Jay from Japan. And I got a dad laugh from that. <laughs> That's awesome. You miss me. Yes, thank you. Spam a lot of good. You gotta come. You gotta come. Bring your behind here to see the show, Aretha. We gotta check out the show. My kitty's named Shinzi and I named her after. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Yeah, no, I think Ozzy, there's a couple show shows Ozzy's would love to do. I think, I wish Ozzy could have played Phantom, you know, of the opera with that big old thing. You know, that'd be cool. Just that giant self coming in with that one side. Knowing him, he would have like took it off to be sexy and put it back on, you know. Which, what, wait, wait, hold up. What was your favorite night improv moment line to repeat? Oh, I've had a couple. I've had a couple. Um, funny thing, uh, Taryn knows, I'm, I don't know Savage Garden that well. And sa he threw Savage Garden at me one time. And I had to learn, um, every time I close my eyes, I just feel you. I had to learn that song and it just got me. And I, I went back to my dressing room and had to learn it. So next time he threw it at me, I was ready. So he threw Savage Garden at me and I was ready for it. So that's one of my favorite ones. He also, he threw, um, he threw Manamana at me from the Muppets. He threw Manamana. And I loved it. What WD star could do a Broadway, oh, oh, verse, let's see. What WD would, could do a, what WWE star could do Broadway and vice versa? Oh, there is a guy, and I love him dearly. His name is Xavier Woods, AKA from the New Day. He could do Broadway. We talk all the time, and he loves Broadway, and I think that guy would be great at it. I think he'd be fantastic. He's got a great voice, he's got great musicality, he plays bass if you follow him. So he would be, he'd be the dude. I think he'd be, he'd be awesome, trust me. All right, I'm making this out to Brittany Williams. This is this picture, love it, still, love this one, thank you. Let me write the number on the back first so I know who I'm sending it to. 26, to Brittany Williams, thank you Brittany. Got you, girl. To Brittany, I got my signature and I also, signature, can't speak, signature as well as the Ozzy. You made a shirt of Alex Brightman. That does not shock me. I have heard that many times. Listen, I, I know Ozzy could squish my mind. I personally am waiting for this moment to, you know, I promise he's waiting for him. Hey, Orlando. Just wanted to say it to you so you could hear it in Ozzy's voice. What relationship between Ozzy and Pinamon do to the Kings? You guys are getting deep on me here. Um, it, because of the different levels, it's hard for me to know exactly, you know, where they stand. Yes, Rami and Carl and Lou would, yeah, Rami would kill in the WWE. He would kill in the, actually, I would kill in the WWE. Let me explain something to you. When it comes to promo for promo, I can, I can get with them. I say it and I'll say it to them and some of those wrestlers know me and they know I could. Physically, I'm more of a Paul Heyman. I'm more of the guy who could help elevate the next person. And then probably somebody will slap me and I'll have to run and cry. And then, but I'll come back with a chair and a bigger wrestler. <laughs> What's my favorite musical besides Spamalot playing right now on Broadway? Hmm. That's hard. I just saw Merrily Roll Along and I actually really, really liked it. I thought it was really, really fun. Um, Six is fabulous. Six is like a dope, dope show. So I love Six. And... um. I'm trying to think of the new ones because, you know, I, saying Hamilton seems kind of cliche because I've been with it for a long time. Um, but you know what? Kimberly Akimbo. Kimberly Akimbo was so good. Kimberly Akimbo was so good. So good. So I'll, 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 I'll pick that. Oh, 
You know what? Keep it but also let me just say, uh, MJ. MJ is fire. MJ is fire. I want to see Pearly Victorious. I have not had a chance to see Pearly Victorious yet. Can I say smooth, uh, shake my, my friends, of course. What's your favorite moment from the last Hell of a Boss episode? You know, the last Hell of a Boss episode I saw was the, um, was the one with me in it. I have been traveling, so I haven't been able to see as much as I should. So that one is the one. And I, it makes me laugh because that, what's funny, <laughs> the bitch I'm a clown, I'm a clown bitch, I'm a clown bitch, got stuck in my wife's head. Back to the Future, I have seen it. It's awesome. My boy Roger Bart's amazing. And when that car comes out, you, you don't have to worry about anything else. Once the car comes out, you're like, yep. Yeah, the show's great. I don't care. Um, but uh, yeah, once the, those two, once those two girls sang, "Bitch, I'm a clown," it was over for me. Me and my, me and my wife howled laughing, and it's been stuck in our head ever since. I have the Aladdin soundtrack, and you sound amazing. Thank you, thank you. I hope the wife and I can come see you in March. Please come check us out. We would love to see you. This is for Hunter. Hunter, I see you. I see you. I got you. Hunter, let's see. Let's do it right now. To Hunter. Write the number on the back. Make sure. <laughs> Please tell me Nikki isn't in here. Spellmas joined. My job is joined. This is awesome. <laughs> They're trying to make sure I don't say anything stupid or like give anything away. Yeah, here. Hi, yeah, here. Like literally, I have the TV on upstairs and I can still hear you because I'm loud, Nick. Just deal with it. You gotta figure this out. No, no, no. You, you, you are sick four floors up. You can kiss my butt, boy. That's what you can do. Don't you have a birthday to be? Don't shouldn't you be doing something birthday? Just go something. Do something. Ferg, yeah. Tell the brother to shut up. P not please, Dad. How dare you? <laughs> don't you call me Dad? You're a horrible person. Yes, I am the oldest person in our group. I'm not scaring Nick for his birthday. Nick's always scared. Nick's not trying to nap. He is so not trying to nap. Nick has probably got on some some depressing movie on because you know, listen. Nick is in a perpetual world of, oh my God, it's dark. And he's and he's got the biggest, brightest smile and brightest heart in the world. But yet he's always trying to be the villain. He's not the villain. He's the good guy. He just doesn't understand that. But he'll figure it out. Don't worry. What's my favorite Night's Knee improv repeat? Oh, I think that. He's watching Lord of the Rings. Okay, you're watching something happy. Technically. Mm, yeah, whatever. But we love him, though. Love the tribute to Robert. Oh, thank you. That tribute to Robert Williams in 2014 was uh, one of the craziest things ever, um, because I wasn't, I wasn't prepared, and they told me to go out and speak from my heart, and I'm so glad I was allowed to do that because he's one of my favorite people. Um, had to go quickly. Is it heat miser time? And oh, it's list so. It is so heat miser time. I it is too cold out here, and I can't stand it. See, Nick, people are talking to you. Nick is saying they saw you in Hamilton and they loved you. See, they love you, Nick. See, you talking about me. My fans are up here. People are up here loving you, boy. Can Ozzy, uh, with my daughter Bella, a happy birthday? Yes. Bella, this is Ozzy, and I just want to wish you a happy, happy birthday. I'm going to keep it clean because I don't know exactly how old your daughter is. But have the wonderful birthday, and I hope you get all you wish for. <laughs> Sauce Pamela second preview in the front row incredible show. Thank you. Nick is the is the one who jumped you. Yeah, he is. He he yeah, he I, I jumped him randomly cuz you know, why else wouldn't I jump Nick? He's a sweet guy, but you know. Can you say hi Ozzy as Ozzy? I love what's it? I love the irony of you signing my <laughs> Hello Ozzy. Hello. It is so nice to meet another Ozzy. I'm looking forward to uh us talking as Ozzy and Ozzy. Are Fitz and Ozzy going to get married? Mmm, I don't know. But it'd be fun if they did. I'd go to that party. You know you know that party would be fire. If Ozzy and Fitz got married, that party would be on point. We all know that. Let's see, this is for Riley. Make sure I, you know, make sure I don't like repeat stuff, y'all. Because, you know, I can get there. I can read the same thing. So, to Riley... Sign my name. The great thing is, I'm, I'm Nick is being really sweet because when he was live one time, we were in uh, Washington D.C. I went to his room and was knocking on the door and like totally like 
just being the biggest ass I possibly could be. And he's being very professional. <laughs> write something, write something Fizz and Ozzy would say. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, I'll write it, but I won't say it because there's still fans. Remember, I'm in, I'm in a family show here. Is Spam on a family show? Yeah, yeah, but I'm a family guy. Yeah, I need Ozzy to knock Mammon out too. Trust me. But I hope that I hope that Hi Stephanie and I uh, see hi Stephanie and Savannah. I think that's what I saw. Hi Stephanie and Savannah. Oh, you in Osmodis' voice. I got skipped a couple times already. Sorry, did not want to skip you. I did not want to skip you. Hello, Stephanie and Savannah. This is Osmodius, the demon of lust. And I just hope that you two ladies are having a fabulous time today. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Osmodius, yeah, hap at the happy hotel. <laughs> that's true. Let's see. So, uh, what would I, what would Fizz say? Of course. What would Fizz say? What would Ozzy say to Fizz? I can't write that. I gotta be good. So, I'm gonna write that. Give me a second. You guys talk about yourselves. Let's say. You say hi to my cat Petunia in Boy Texas Boy. <laughs> you got it. Hey, Petunia, you know it's all right with me if it's all right with you. So I hope you have a great day today. You know, we cool. That's all that matters. <laughs> Please say hi to my daughter. Jose. Please say hi to my daughters, Ava and Jade. We saw you in Hamilton and Aladdin. Hello, Ava and Jade. Thank you for coming to check out the shows that I'm in. That's really, really cool. As every actor's dream is for, you know, someone to say they saw you at a show and had a great time. What is a song that Ozzy would sing and listen to on repeat? What is a song? Let's see. What is a song that Ozzy would sing on repeat? Oh. Probably something from uh, Barry White. And he was like, uh, he probably sing, let's see, I'm gonna pause this for a second. He goes, he goes, uh, let's see, let's see. Can't get enough of your love, babe. <laughs> because he can't get enough of his love. Uh, hello, Blake. Just wanted to say, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I see you. You did spam a lot in high school. Can't wait to see you do it. Uh, please come check us out, do it a hundred more times. Please sing something from Crooked. You know, I have to, I can sing a little bit, but I have to save my voice only because I still have a show to do tonight. Um, turning the Christmas music back on. Autocorrect, stop, that's so funny. How do Ozzy and Lucifer get along? I'm assuming we get along pretty good. You know, I mean, he's at the top and I've got my level and I don't mess with him, he doesn't mess with me. I mean, as long as I keep making people, you know, enjoy the lustful side of life, I don't see why he'd have a problem. Since you're listening to Christmas music, I, which I love, by the way, if Ozzy were to like a Christmas movie, what movie would he like? You know, as cool as Ozzy is, I really think he would really enjoy um, A Christmas Carol. I think it'd be funny for him to look at all the different ghosts trying to help people. I think he'd be like, this is so ridiculous. Also, I think he would, knowing Ozzy, he would probably be trying to find all the places he would want to put... Uh, <laughs> This is terrible. Try to find a place all, all the, he'd want to put all the sex scenes in A Christmas Carol. Don't think too deep on that. <laughs> Wishing you a thousand more success. Thank you so much. Hey, Isle, what's going on, Justin? How I see you guys. I heard the guy who voiced Varian is in Tango. I, ooh, that works. When you played Genie Aladdin, did you improvise your lines like Robin Williams? Did you? You know what? It was both. I had lines that were scripted, and I had lines that I got to improv. Um, I would do something new at least every night, or if something cool was in the air, I would do stuff. So yeah, I can't help myself. Probably because I stopped recording when you said hi to me on accident. I'm sorry, Blake. So you, are you back? Are you back? Do you have it recorded? So I can say hello, Blake. Just make sure. Is Fizz and Raleigh really that bad of a cook? Said, yes, yes he is. He's awful. Listen. The boy, he's he's so cute and so sexy, but he can't cook with a damn. Let me do it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Can you sing Arabian Night? I wish I could. I wish I could. 
I would. I could. But I still have a show to do. Guys, I have a show to do. So people, people are going to be paying to see me. And if I sound crazy, they're going to want to get their money back. And my wife don't give money back. <laughs> me and my sister are turning 21 in February. It's February 3rd. Can you say happy birthday? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We know Fizz loves burgers. What's Oz's favorite food in your opinion? Ooh. Be perfectly honest. I mean, think about it. Think about the way Ozzy is. Think about those fingers. Think about that body. Oh, he must work out because I personally think his favorite food is barbecue ribs. Probably barbecue ribs and some awesome, awesome wings. Not buffalo wings, just well cooked, well fried chicken wings. So barbecue ribs and fried chicken wings. Or maybe that's just my favorite thing. You never know. I'm drawing Ozzy giving flowers to Fizz. Oh. Tell a flower that Ozzy would love to give the fizz. You know what? I, as cheesy as this sounds, he would give probably fizz white and blue roses. He would probably give white and blue roses. That's probably what he would do. Someone's going to call me, but I can't because it says potential spam. That's right. Potential spam is calling me right now. And I don't know. I know spam a lot, but I'm definitely not doing that. Now you want ribs. <laughs> That's funny. I I wish I could I wish I could have ribs but b- between shows, but I can't. Hey, from Philly. Let's see. This is for Miranda. Uh, Miranda, I got you. Let me write your number on the back. Make sure I got this. What's up? There we go. There we go. To Miranda. One of my favorite lines from this episode. Actually, you know what? I have to check on that. I got you, Miranda. No problem. No problem. Cool. Let me see. Let me go like that. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Yeesh. I just completely messed up. I'm looking on where to write things, and then I completely did it wrong. That's awful. That's awesome. Let's see what's going on. Let's go back to that. There we go. 15, 15, 15, 15. Rise and shine, you guys. Did that, did that, did that, did that, did that, did that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, cool, there we go. Whew. Scared the hell out of me, y'all. Like I said, I'm so not good at this. There we go. I want to make sure, sorry, people keep calling me all of a sudden. My favorite Osmodius moment was when he had no shirt or clothes on. That's a lot of people's favorite moment, you'd be shocked. Osmodius doesn't know how to use electronics, can it? So can it, so can it. This is, when I say they base is on me, they base is on me. All right, I know how to use a microphone, that's about it. Oh, can I see my funny Valentine? Get my funny Valentine, sweet coming Valentine. Uh, was it? Heart, you make me smile in my heart. What's my favorite number? What's my favorite number? Mm. You know what? Zero, zero. My favorite number is zero, zero. The reason why my favorite number is zero because zero is center stage. And that's always where I want to be. I want to be zero, I want to be center stage with the light on me because I'm just that egotistical. <laughs> Yes, of course I'm more excited to work with Alex again. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. That's my boy. But don't get me wrong. I'm having the best time with Taryn. Taryn Killam is killing him. He is awesome. And uh, I can't wait to like get on stage with that brother every night. But I'm looking forward to my boy Alex too because they're both they're both so different. They're both so different. Uh, Sophie, hi. How are you doing? Will it be revealed or will some kind of, wait, wait, some kind of hint of the why Vortex has a scar? You know, I don't know. I asked and they told me that it's part of the story they'll tell me later. So hopefully I can do that. Um, I see Kent say, my birthday's in January. Can you please say happy birthday in Ozzy's voice? Yes, Kent, I see you. Happy birthday, Kent. I hope everything's going well with your birthday in January. Enjoy it. You're going to have a wonderful time. Someone was at the Hollywood Bowl. Hey, how are you guys doing? Thank you for coming to the Hollywood Bowl and checking us out. Let's see. Um... Can I get a sexy message from Ozzy, my favorite sin, The Seven Rings? I listen to your song all the time. Chandler, I see you, Chandler. Ah, Chandler wants me to bring out one of the old photos. I got it, I got it, I got it. Hold on, Chandler. Sorry, knocked my phone. Here we go. I see you, Chandler. I'm going to do that right now, doing it. Hold up, let me write down 
Your number Q. 81, got you. Got you. My homeboy John was online and, and now he just texted me talking about it. I tempted him with ribs and chicken so he had to leave to go get ribs and chicken. How dare you, man? <laughs> to Chandler. James, thanks again for the cameos. Oh, you are so welcome. You are so welcome. Hey! Hey, Catery, how are you doing? Good to see you, girl. Catery's really, really cool. You should follow her. She's like one of the dopest people I know. Oh, my gosh, thank you. Thank you very much. I've had many, um, that means a lot, saying I'm an inspiration to your, to voice acting. I've had many inspirations myself. So it's what I've always wanted to do. I love being on Broadway, don't get me wrong. I love Broadway, I love film. But when I do uh, voiceovers for cartoons, that's where I'm living my life. I am living my life there. Can I get a sexy message from Ozzy? <laughs> yes, I know why yellow trees is John. I know who you are. Jesus, you act like I don't follow him. Everybody say congratulations to Ali Yella Trees, John. He just had a baby recently. Let that brother know I love him. It's J-O-N. I love that guy. Okay, great. Hold on. Let me sign my name and say something. If somebody would have told me in junior high school when someone's going to ask me to write something sexy to them on a piece of paper, I'd have thought you were insane. Because that's all I wanted the girls to do and the guys to do, and no one ever did. And now here I am at 49 doing this. This is nuts. I got you, Chandler. No problem, baby. Let's see, I have to put you over here because that's a different group. So, boom. That's complete. Okay, great. Now the next one. Maybe after can see us in a pay. Mm. Congratulations. What's your favorite part of being Arthur? Oh, you know what? My favorite part of being Arthur is this is one of the first times I've ever gotten to just uh not be overly silly. I'm kind of the straight guy in the show. When I, not straight guy, straight, straight character. Everybody else gets to be absolute nuts. And like Arthur is like on a mission to like just find the grail. And so it's interesting because usually I'm the one being the silly one all around stage doing stuff. And this time I get to be, I get to be, you know, straight and just kind of like have the journey and kind of watch everybody be funny around me. And it's really kind of fun. I will say at first it was really crazy to feel. I didn't know how to feel about it. I kept trying to be funny, kept trying to do funny stuff, but that's not what my part's supposed to do. If you've ever seen the movie, um, King Arthur is funny, but it's kind of funny watching the situation happen around him, not watching him do funny things. So it was kind of a wonderful time to like, kind of just embrace watching all these incredible artists around me perform from DC with um, Alex Brightman and uh, Rob McClure to here with um, Chris Fitzgerald and Taryn Killam and Nick Walker and Leslie. I mean, we have, I mean, Jimmy Smagula and Michael Yuri. We have amazing folks on stage with us and they are so, so good. What kind of things do I do to prepare between shows, especially on Wednesday, Saturday shows? Um, honestly, I chill out. I really, really chill out. Like this is a, this is the most, I, I, I usually don't do this kind of stuff because I usually I'm like chilling, resting, putting my voice together. But um, I drink a lot of water. I eat very light, like fish or sushi or something like that. Fish is sushi, but you know what I mean? But something like grilled chicken, fish or whatever to just like not weigh me down. And then I rest the voice, rest the body, then go back on stage, stretch and get myself ready for the next thing. Ha! I look at my early 30s. Girl, hey, I'm sorry, I don't know if you're a girl or boy, but I, I usually say girl. But look, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you for that. You're directing 12 Angry Jurors. Any uh, advice for a rookie director? Yes, uh, fully know your vision. Fully know your vision and stand behind it. And But don't hold so tight to your vision that you can't let actors have ideas through there, but create a sandbox that your actors can play in. But know what you want and know where you want to go so they also have a clear vision of where they want to go. Someone said something about uh, a wrestler. Who would your favorite wrestler be in today's modern era? Mm. You know I have a few. I have a few. So I'll tell you. Uh, Kevin Owens. Love Kevin Owens. 
uh, Gunther, or AKA Walter or Gunther. I love, love him. I also really, really enjoy <laughs> MJF. He's actually really, really fun for me. I really, I really dig that dude. But uh, those, those are the guys that are coming up that I really think are fun. I swerve. Swerve is hitting right now. Swerve is killing it right now. So those, those, those are the guys I'm with right now. Those are the guys I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really jamming on right now. Can you say something flirty towards my friend Scott? People keep wanting me to flirt with Scott. Scott, you got fans out there, baby. Does Ozzy like cheese? No. Well, that's not true. Ozzy probably does. James doesn't. I like feta cheese. I, you know, let me stop lying. I don't like American cheese. I can't deal with American cheese, so I cannot do that. Hello, Marina. You have your birthday tomorrow, so hello. Does, uh, let's see. The advice for keeping persistent energy throughout the performance, there's never been a problem for me, but I really get worried. You know what? Don't worry about it. If it hasn't been a problem for you, don't worry about it. I think the thing that gets people the most is we start worrying about things, and when we start worrying, then that's what happens. Because it's your anxiety getting to you. So don't worry about it. Slaps give you flashbacks. Refla Look, Gunther's slaps are ridiculous. Absolutely insane. Love it. Oh, you're watching Kip. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If Ozzy had his own brand of cereal, his cereal would be called Ozzy-O's. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. That is funny. Let's see. Um, let me get back to signing. Hold on. Let me see. Where's your cousin? Oh, there it is. Showtime at Ozzy's. Got you, got you. This is for Haley Nicole. Haley Nicole, I see you. I see you. Let me write your number on the back. I got you, Haley Nicole. Right. Thank you guys for your patience. I have no request. Just happy to see your face. Thank you. Can you sing anything? Let's see. Hold up. Can you sing anything to me and my sister? We got skipped again. I am so sorry. Hell of a cutie girl. <sighs> All in love is fair, love's a crazy game. I sing that to you, and I hope that you ha enjoyed the moment. Will there be a cast recording of Spam a lot? Gosh, I hope so. I would really like them as own. Is Ozzy's dislike of his staff eating chicken because he is a rooster demon? Ha <laughs> ha! Could be. Could be. Nothing like watching people eat chicken when you realize that you are one. Mm -hmm. Real American cheese or Wisconsin? Fit. I hate all American cheese. It's nasty. It just it doesn't it does something to me. I'm that dude who like if you put cheese on my burger, I will take it back, and then they'll look at me funny. And nothing like taking the food back in New York because they look at you like you farted on their mama or something like that. I'm like, look, do your job. Don't put cheese on my stuff. That's what I'm saying. So to Haley, Haley, I got you. To Haley Nicole. Is that your favorite quotes of the characters? Thank you. Thank you, Haley Nicole, for your support and for asking for a picture. That is so sweet of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got you done. Let's see. The study conducted during Aladdin, during Friend Like Me, it's a marathon physical activity. Yeah, you know, I remember that. What was my Broadway debut? My Broadway debut actually was Spelling Bee. Spelling Bee, uh, the 25th on your putt, Spelling Bee. Um, my boy Derek Baskin was the original, and I got to uh, be a part of it. And speaking, speaking of that, not speaking of Derek Baskin, <laughs> I literally, did. Derek Baskin was the original. Uh, Mitch Mahoney on uh, on Broadway and he was sweet enough to tell the powers that be about me and he said he wants some pictures <laughs> how dare you <laughs> you don't want no picture if Ozzy met me and my sister Ox how would he greet them <laughs> I can't say it online how about that yeah there we go yeah, Derek Bask is in there somewhere too. I I can't. Does Ozzy have a last name? Um, no, I think it's just Osmodius. To be honest, I love that. Yeah, I know. I said fart on your mama. That's true. Come on, because in New York, if you ask anybody to do their job, they get mad at you. I'm like, what, what, why? You you chose to work here at this burger place. Why are you mad at me? Because you didn't get it right. Yes, the original Mitch. Love that. Um, 
My sister keeps getting skipped. Hell of a cutie girl. What happened? What? How am I skipping you? I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I have so many weird looks at my coworkers when I say Ozzy's voice actor is signing. Because <laughs> they're like, who the heck is that? And then you say, James Weigart. And they go, who the heck is that? Yeah. If you're on Broadway, people, people don't know. Don't, don't, hey, don't worry about them judging you. You love yourself. You do your thing. Does being a multilingual singer help bonus musical theater auditions? Yes and no. Because if the show if the show needs more languages, I know that sounds crazy. Yes, it does. But being able to do both does help. Uh, have I met Jeremy Jordan? Yes, I have. I have met Jeremy Jordan. He's a pretty cool dude. He does. He's a pretty cool dude. Reminder that Osmodius hates Valentine's Day. Funny thing, I also have a problem with Valentine's Day. I have a big problem, but my wife always laughs. Ah, your sister's flower woman. Okay, I will look to make sure she doesn't get skipped. I'll check. And if I do, I'm so sorry. But I have a problem with Valentine's Day too. Valentine's Day too, because I'm good all year round. I treat my wife wonderfully. I try to buy her stuff and get everything she wants. And you have 363 days where dudes can act absolutely stupid, and they get one day where they can buy you some chocolate and roses, and all the girls go, "Oh my God, thank you." I'm like, "No, you're an ass for three for the whole year. You get one day to act stupid, right? Act right? No." So that's my problem with it. When do you know it was the right time to go equity in the Bay Area, or did you wait? You know what? I went equity. Um, I went equity right after college, but I only went because a show offered it to me. I didn't go through like yeah, I, I got lucky. I didn't have to go through like the system and all that kind of stuff. A show offered me a show, and that's how I became equity. So you have to know personally when you feel it's the right time to go. That's 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 my advice on that. Hey, if Ozzy would buy me and my sister, uh, it's, a Christmas present, what kind of stone crystal necklace would he buy for them? Oh, that's Flower Woman, I see you. What would he buy for them? Well, you know, when it comes to stone crystals, you know, eesh. for me, I'm, I'm a diamond guy, that's me. So, if I'm thinking Ozzy, I want you to bling bling, mama. You know, if you, if you bling and bling and wearing nothing else, probably shouldn't have said that, but that's just how I say. <laughs> Well, had it, I found out from my cousin making me watch them. Oh, thank you. Me and my sisters are turning 21. Yes, I. you got, oh, so, okay, you got, are you guys triplets? You guys turned 21 and February 3rd. Well, happy birthday, ladies. Thank you for loving me as Phil. Uh, by the way, for the walk-on, okay, they keep saying Ox, which means original characters, just so you know. Oh, I see, I see, sorry, original characters. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sorry. Ozzy sings the Christmas song, the Michael Bubble cover, that's... You know, I, I would. I love that song. You know that. You know it. I would love to be. I would love to work with Jeremy again. He's awesome. Let me also sign this right here, so people won't think I'm not doing it. Evan, I see you. Evan, I see you. Thank you, Evan. I got you. Let me write down your number here, here, here. Hold on, hold on. The screech I let out when you said you were voicing someone a husband was ungodly. <laughs> Thank you. No, you're twins. Ah, okay, I understand. Well, ladies, thank you very much, and thank you for being so clear with me on the things. I'm sorry I'm a little slow on the uptake sometimes, but happy birthday. You guys are fabulous, and thank you for being so patient with me through this whole thing. You're awesome. What's the difference between Genie and now as King Arthur? Uh, Genie is wild and free and absolutely out of his mind, and the king is tries his best to be as clear as possible with his vision of what he wants, even though... Everything around him is going absolutely apeshit, pretty much. Please say hello to Ali and Sadie in, uh, in Ozzy's voice. Hello, Ozzy and Sadie. I hope you have a wonderful day today. Hello from San Jose. What's up, San Jose? That is my homie. I, I, that's my Bay Area place, y'all. I love y'all. Let's see. This is for Evan. Let me make sure I sign this. Cool. To Evan. Thank you, thank you, Evan, for saying keep up the good work. I'm doing my best. Want to make sure I uh, give the best performances I can, whether it be on stage or on uh, in a cartoon or on this wonderful platform here, which I only have about seven more minutes. So let's let's keep it going. You saw us this afternoon. So much fun. Thank you. So glad you had a good time. I'm so glad you had a good time. Thank you uh, for for being with me, guys. You know, this has been absolutely incredible. Uh, I, hi, I have a teacher named Ria. Can you please say hi to her because she's a big Ozzy fan. Hold up. It's R-H-I. I, you know, I may say this wrong, but I just want to say hello to your teacher. Thank you for being an Ozzy fan. You guys are awesome. Thank you for just staying with me this whole time. Y'all are awesome. 
Gonna go clinically insane when has been releases. <laughs> yeah, me too. I've heard that before. You know, makes do you enjoy being in smaller playhouse? Like, uh, you know what? Yeah, I like theater as theater. You know, th there's no such thing as like to me smaller theater or Broadway. I mean, yes, Broadway's Broadway, but as long as the fans are coming and enjoy themselves, then I am having a good time myself. That's how I feel about it. You say <laughs> stay for the comedy and the and the atmosphere. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. That's awesome. Hey James, you ever been to Las Vegas? Oh my God, yeah, I love Las Vegas. Vegas is, I love Las Vegas. I've stayed, I we used to stay at the, um, oh gosh, I'm so going blank. What's the, at the at the Pyramid? My wife and I used to stay at the Pyramid. And then we stayed at the Bellagio. And um, those, are, those are usually our two places. Those are usually our two places that we stay. Oh, please, you guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're never late. You're never late. You're always awesome. Um, I don't know if I'll post it on YouTube, but I'm going to try to keep it if I can remember what I heck I'm doing. And uh, you see I keep typing in different letters because I'm trying not to do stuff on accident. Can you say happy birthday to my friend, Corpse? <laughs> happy birthday to your friend, Corpse. Renee Aldo Billingsy. Hey! Hello. How are you doing? Hello, Renee. What's going on? Yes, we're going to have a good show tonight. Uh, my dog does that just like, um, oh, you know what? Hey, for pet lovers, I love you guys. Thank you, thank you. If uh, Ozzy would have sang, it would be, you know what? I could totally see Osmodis and Fizz singing it, Baby, It's Cold Outside, but knowing Fizz, he would change the lyrics to some nasty, nasty stuff, and it would be funny as hell, and I would love it. <laughs> Can I ask what my number is? You know what? I have not seen it yet because it's really long but trust me i will get to it todd metzger i see you what's up baby how you doing let me sign one more of these before we get going this is to carla cousin of andrea hello carla i see you showtime let me get this together let me write the number down write it down write that down you ready got you okay to carla Please write some words of encouragement for my cousin Lisa, who also dropped. Yes, I will. I'm saying to Carla, keep living your dream. Because trust me, we all have dreams and I know it's hard out there, but with perseverance and things like that, you will be able to do what you want to do. Hi, Emily from the DeHope family. I love you, girl. Good to see you. There you go, Carla. I got you. I'll make sure I got the right number on that. And trust me, yes, let's everyone, distinguished guests, I don't say ladies and gentlemen anymore because I want everybody to identify their own way. Distinguished guests, I will be on it. These will all be signed. Uh, I'll be signing through the weekend, not live because I got a bunch of stuff to do because I'll be and I'll be traveling. But I'll be signing these and hopefully I can get this done before the end of the month so everybody gets their stuff for Christmas and all that kind of stuff. I love you all. You all are amazing. I'm not leaving yet. Have I watched Legend of Vox? Not yet. And I want to. It's on my list. Yes, I'm excited about working with Alex. Yes, I cannot wait. What is the speed velocity of a sparrow? How dare you? The fact of the matter is... We have the coconuts and that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if it's an African sparrow or not a London sparrow. Would you like to be at a convention for the hell of a cat? You know, if I could, damn straight I would. I saw the last convention. I thought it was so, so cool. So yeah, if there's a convention that I can get, yeah, yeah, I will, I will, trust me, I will get it. I will do that. Hey, Flower Woman, I see you again, girl. What's happening? Let's see, Rise and Shine. This is for Lexi. I see you, Lexi. And this is probably gonna be the last one I signed because I got two minutes left. Let me get this done. I also promise that when I get back, I will try to do another one of these lives before the end of the month. I will let everybody extremely know when I'm gonna do it. I will try to do it before Christmas so I can get these done. I'll probably be in the dressing room again, probably bothering Nick, but I'm gonna get it done. But let me sign this before I sign off. Let's see, this is for Lexi. She said, love, please. Can we get burgers for breakfast, Big Daddy? <laughs> You know I can't. You know I can't say no to that cute fizzy frog. <laughs> Not a problem.
Got you. Got you, Lexi, and thank you. The funny, fu the funny thing is, uh, you guys talk about my voice, and uh, I get it from my daddy. I get it from my father. If you were to um, watch any of his old films, uh, Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, which is a crazy, nutty film, uh, my father uh, was there. And uh, also, he was in a film called Fighting Mad or Death Force. If you can find Death Force, look for James Aguilar. They usually misspell his name and put an N in it. And, uh, and uh, get my voice from my pops. But listen, guys, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being with me today. It is 6 o'clock. I got to get ready for the show. But I will get all this other stuff done. Yes, I love you. Thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for hanging with the cat. And uh, surely not everybody was kung fu fighting. And I hope you all have a wonderful and amazing holiday. I will see you all soon. And to my fizzy frog out there, I know you're out there. Probably doing something extremely freaky that you shouldn't be doing. But you know I find it so sexy. And to all you guys out there who came to this today, I will do it again. I thank you. Have a great night.